everybody. Welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin. Yesterday we talked about relative references and formulas. Now today we have a different formula. I'm going to hit the F2 key and you'll see that this formula refers to cells D4, E4, and a sales tax factor up in cell C1. When I copy this formula down from F4 to F5, I get the wrong result. I would have expected 10 times 2257 times 1.065, but if I look at that formula, you'll see that the copying of references worked against me because now instead of pointing at cell C1, I'm pointing at cell C2. Oh, wow. How can I change that? If I go back to my original formula and I edit the formula and before the C and before the 1, I put a dollar sign, dollar sign C, dollar sign 1, and enter that formula, I get the same result. But now as I copy down to the next row, you'll see that I get the right answer. In this case, the dollar signs is telling Excel that I always want to point to C1. No matter whether I copy that formula down, up, left, or right, the dollar signs make the C1 reference absolute. This is one of the most important things in Excel. It'll allow you to create one formula and copy it down like we showed you yesterday with the fill handle and have every row point back to the sales tax rate in C1. This comes up over and over and over again. I've actually seen people try and enter the formula over and over and over because they didn't know the dollar sign trick. So it's called an absolute reference. You have a dollar sign before the C, dollar sign before the one. Make sure that as you copy the formula, Excel will always point back to the original cell. Stop back tomorrow for more information about relative, absolute, and mixed cell references.